So TLDR, there has been a typo in the config.ini file that has been uh, identified by the Monster Hunter community for PC players. The Steam version appears to have a misspelling in one of the lines of code in that INI file that is directly correlated to texture loading. So if you've happened to see that texture pop in, it's it's either really abrupt or your frame rate really tanks when textures are loading. Also, this might have something to do perhaps with the Dorito PS1 graphics that some people have. Um, this seems to help with that. There are three entries in that INI file that should help you boost your FPS. Now, it does not seem to have as much of an impact on some machines as it does on others but there's no harm in trying this it's not going to hurt the game it's not going to break the game you're not going to get banned for doing it it's not like you're modding the game either but for all those of us who are concerned about the performance of the game this is something that we can tap into just to give us a little bit of extra right it's not going to hurt for me i noticed this on my gaming rig which has a 3080 in it and in that 3080 uh there's only 10 gigabytes it's, it's not the 12 gigabyte of VRAM model. It seems to help most on graphics cards that are VRAM constrained. Also, it seems to help when there are processors that tend to be the bottleneck in certain areas. CPU bottlenecking on the RE engine is a well-documented problem. This was most obvious in Dragon's Dogma 2, and that was a huge source of concern for Wilds at launch. And sure enough, there's definitely some issues with performance. There will be further patches, I'm sure, and further optimizations yet to be done. However, if we can do this here and now just to get us a little bit of extra, great. If we can get the the performance up closer to where it should be, then I don't see a reason not to, and I'm going to guide you through it now. Shout out to Beep Boop on Steam who published this. Um, specifically, they're the ones that, at least that I can tell, were the first to identify that resolution is misspelled in one of the lines on the config file. So I'm going to guide you here, right here, right now, on how to do this, and I'll explain where there's an issue. When you're in Steam, you right click on Monster Hunter Wilds. Find Monster Hunter Wilds in your library, right click on it, go to Properties, Installed Files, and then click the Browse button. That's going to bring you directly to the installation directory of Monster Hunter Wilds. There is a config.ini file. If you double click it and it asks you what program to open it with, just open it with Notepad. But as you can see, it already opened it with Notepad here. In this INI file, what we're going to do is search for resolution. And it's going to go quite a few times down before you get there. As you can see from the bar here, it's quite low in the config.ini file. You see resolution, minimum streaming texture resolution equals minimum streaming texture result -uion. and that's where the typo is the t and the u are transposed we're going to change that so that way it's not misspelled anymore we're, we're taking the misspelling out of it and we're going to save the file that right there should literally be it but there are a couple of other things that you can see uh, that we can change as well. This is by default limited to eight processor cores. So for any of us who are running a multi-threaded machine, there are a lot of CPUs out there that are more than eight. In fact, I would bet that most are more than eight at this point. The easiest way to tell just how many processor cores you have, you right click on the bar at the bottom, go to task manager, and in Task Manager, you can see that there are 16 cores. There's there's eight cores with 16 logical processors because it's hyper-threaded. I am being limited right now to only using eight of them, and I want to change that. We can search then for parallel. And right here, we're looking for parallel 
build processor count. This means that a CPU limited game is being artificially limited down to only using eight cores. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to 16 because I have a maximum of 16 cores on my CPU. On top of that, render worker thread priority above normal is set to disable. This is going to bump the priority of the game's threads just a little bit so that way we can get some extra CPU dedicated to the game. This is going to help in specific for your 1% uh, lows or when you get some pretty massive stuttering when it's transitioning scenes. Uh, that is where this is going to help the most. So what we're going to do is we're just going to save this again now that these are done and then we're going to open Monster Hunter Wilds. One thing that I want to mention, however, is that whenever we make this change and we open up Monster Hunter Wilds, it'll read from this config.ini. But the moment that you close Monster Hunter Wilds, <laughs> the misspelling returns on the config.ini. So we can do a couple of things. We can either copy and then paste. So now we have a copy of exactly how this INI should look, and we can just use this after uh, we exit the game. Or we can right click, go to properties, and then from there, choose read only. This means that the game is not going to be able to overwrite the config.ini file upon close. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to break anything, but it might throw errors when you close it. I haven't tried that myself. I would much rather just manually do it by hand, but this will at least help make sure that the game can't overwrite your changes every time that you close the game. That will make sure that this persists at the very least until Capcom has a patch that you can then use. So while I was editing this video, I actually found an additional step that I want to include in this video at production. So um, this goes to Derex2094 over on Nexus Mods who uploaded this. Now I recognize that this is on Nexus Mods. This isn't a mod in the way that it's going to alter the game. This is a mod, quote unquote, that upgrades direct storage from 1.2.2 to 1.2.3. It's an IO stutter fix because the updated version of direct storage, which is a core component of DirectX built into Microsoft Windows, is out of date. And this is going to help us with things like load in, pop in, the type of frame loss that is associated whenever a scene transitions or you're loading into a new area that helps reduce the amount of stutter that you experience in those moments. This is no different than updating DLSS or updating FSR, for example, to an updated new version if the game doesn't come with it. So once you've downloaded the mod, you'll have a handy little zip file right here in this handy little zip file wilds direct storage one two three upgrade dlls you're going to see two files dstorage.dll and dstorage core.dll we're going to go back to steam same deal as earlier in the video installed files browse and when you open the root directory of the game you're going to see two files of the same name we're going to go back to the zip file we're going to highlight both of them. We're going to right click, copy, go back to the Monster Hunter Wilds directory, right click, paste, and Microsoft Windows is going to ask you if you want to replace the files in the directory because of the fact that they share the same name. We're going to go ahead and replace. And you're done. We now have our workaround. So. With that in mind, that is going to help us just make sure we get a little bit of extra juice from our rigs, make sure that the thread priority is high, make sure that textures are allowed to load properly, uh, and it does reduce the amount of times that we see drastic dips in the frame rate due to loading textures and mass. It always seems to be whenever it has to load a lot of textures at once and for whatever reason it's not giving it the full capabilities of the engine because of that typo. 
leave it to the Monster Hunter community to find something like this out. Absolutely fantastic. And I know that there are probably at some point in time going to be mods that address this because the community likes to uh, likes to help optimize when uh, Capcom does not. But there's also going to be performance patches. If you were to consider Monster Hunter World when that first came out on PC, that was also a dumpster fire. So I recommend that, hey, be patient if you haven't gotten the game yet. It's an absolutely fantastic game. It's fantastic. It's so good. The gameplay is on point. The, the hunts are fun. The gameplay loop is great. The graphics are solid. The problem is just that, hey, it's overworking our PCs. It's overworking our hardware. We're not getting the performance reflective of our hardware. And that's a very valid and legitimate concern uh, from a lot of the PC player base. So hopefully this helps. If you like that, please like the video. Please feel free to drop a subscription. I would absolutely love to have you here. Uh, we'll be doing more guide videos as well. I got another one that I'm working on on top of that. And uh, as always, my friends, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.